Hey everyone, Mr. DVB here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this year's Call of Duty title, Call of Duty Vanguard, being brought to us by Sledgehammer Games. This is once again another Call of Duty game set in World War II. Let's see how it holds up to the rest of the franchise. Vanguard's story is set near the very end of World War II, where we follow a group of allied soldiers tasked with a top-secret operation, where they are searching for intelligence regarding a Nazi project known as Project Phoenix, run by Hermann Freisinger. The game's story is told in a non-linear fashion, where we explore the group's various characters' backstories told throughout different key moments in the war, all while cutting back to the main story. I was a pretty big fan of last year's Black Ops Cold War campaign. As someone who has been pretty disappointed with most of the story efforts in recent years, it was a nice surprise to play a great Call of Duty campaign. Unfortunately, this year's Call of Duty seems more in line with the disappointing efforts of previous installments. For me, Vanguard's campaign felt unfocused, with hardly any time spent exploring its main storyline. The characters are all one note and forgettable, each given a single character trait and special skill set that defines them. One character is an expert sniper, while another is a great leader. These characteristics are explored in their missions set during well-known events of the war. Level design is solid enough, and the game's campaign is undeniably beautiful, but constantly cutting back and forth between events that in reality have nothing to do with each other was something that just did not work for me. There are some minor additions to gameplay to help it differentiate itself from previous Call of Duty efforts, such as climbing sections, but all these do is require you to push up on your thumbstick, so the effort doesn't go very far. When we are following the campaign's main storyline, we're forced to sit through a ton of cutscenes with some recognizable faces such as Dominic Monaghan from the Lord of the Rings films. I wouldn't mind these scenes if it wasn't for the fact that the main storyline is so briefly explored, only given one or two actual missions to be told. It's not at all a particularly original storyline either, and it feels more like a typical Call of Duty game or action flick instead of trying to aim for a more realistic depiction of World War II. This leads to some cheesy moments that feel out of place for the timeline, and the story ends up defaulting on the villain wanting to bring upon the rise of the Fourth Reich. There's certainly some interesting set pieces to explore that contain all of the high-octane moments you would expect, and the game's sound and visuals are definitely on point, but it all feels wasted on a somewhat mediocre campaign with cheesy, forgettable characters and an unfocused narrative that feels like a step back for the franchise. Multiplayer luckily fares differently, however, with a lot of praise coming from the fanbase. I have definitely enjoyed my time with the multiplayer, but I still find myself preferring the one that we got last year. One praise to mention right off the bat, however, is the amount of content Sledgehammer has given us at launch, with a total of 20 maps, which is significantly more than last year's Cold War. Gunplay is slick and smooth, and there's a solid offering of modes available at launch, with some new occlusions like Champion Hill, which acts as an almost squad-based elimination game. It is lacking a larger scale mode like Combined Arms Domination, featured in last year's title, which was my personal favorite of that game, but there's still plenty of fun to be had here. Time to Kill does seem a little low for me personally, and the game can get quite hectic, but Sledgehammer has tried to fix this by incorporating a new combat pacing model, which allows you to choose between a variety of options that will determine how many players will be present in your match. So if you're wanting a more tactical approach to your game, with less people to worry about, you can select Tactical. If you want something more hectic, with an almost constant sense of danger in firefights, you can go with Blitz mode, or there's Assault, which lands right between the two options. There really aren't that many things new added to the table here besides some minor things like destructible walls, which are located across various areas in the maps. These can be broken, allowing you to gain access to new areas. They're not game-changing or anything, but it's nice to have them, I guess. Performance and connection-wise, the game works well. I haven't had any issues loading into matches or anything with servers. Sometimes there is the occasional game stutter where I'll be running around and then the game freezes for a moment. In this time, I may get killed or something important will happen and it's kind of annoying because it will interrupt the experience, but it hasn't happened enough to the point where it's become a glaring issue for me personally. While I'm doubtful that I'll spend a ton of time in multiplayer this time around, I still think Vanguard fares up quite well amongst other entries in the series, and I look forward to future content being added over time. The one area of Vanguard that I genuinely despise, however, is zombies. This is very unfortunate for someone like myself who absolutely loves the mode. Last year was disappointing for me, and Vanguard is continuing that streak. 
I haven't loved the mode since Black Ops 3, which was released six years ago, and I was really hoping this year would bring something special to the table, but it almost seems that with each new entry in the series, we're being distanced further and further from the classic zombie feel that I love. Similar to last year, you no longer spawn with a pistol, and instead can run around immediately with an assault rifle, which just makes me feel overpowered from the start. Health bars and HP number drops are still present, and the map feels so generic and open, and without any of the regular zombie feel. I just don't like the way Zombies has been altered over the past few years, and I'm really hoping we can go back to a more traditional take sometime in the near future. Until then, there's an extremely low chance I'll be playing this mode anytime soon. Visually, the game is without a doubt the best looking Call of Duty we've received. The campaign is gorgeous, with excellent detail and character models, good lighting, even despite the lack of ray tracing, and superb sound design. As to be expected, multiplayer and zombies aren't as impressive visually, but it's still a solid enough looking game. On the PS5, there's the option between 4K60 and a dynamic resolution with 120fps. I jumped around between both, and I don't exactly have a huge preference at this time, as the level of detail is definitely a bit more noticeable in resolution mode, but the higher frame rate is also quite useful as well. One issue I will mention with the graphics is that there is the occasional pop in textures. Uh, certain sections of the game were actually pretty bad for this, especially if you stop and look at the ground. You will see it, you know, popping in quite a bit. It was pretty distracting in some scenes, uh, one in particular which you guys can see in this video playing right now. It is a bit disappointing to see the lack of ray tracing this time around, which was present last year. All in all, Call of Duty Vanguard feels like a pretty standard entry in the franchise, with an okay campaign effort, a solid, entertaining multiplayer, and an unfortunately terrible zombies mode offering only one lousy map at launch. I personally preferred Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War at launch, even with that game's lower map quantity. The lack of a large skill mode with vehicles is a bit of a bummer for me personally, and I'm not quite sure how long I'll be sticking with this game. As someone who's been praising Cold War throughout this video, I only played that game for the first two months and then sort of dropped off, so we'll see where this one fares, but as for now, I did have fun with this title. For more reviews like this one, consider subscribing to Mr. DVB. Wasted. Stuck in the med tent. Give me rent. You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door! Give me rent. <laughs>